welcome to another episode of Making Dough Show. If you are new here, know that on this channel, every Monday we uh, give you a free marketing tip to grow your sales. On Wednesdays, we have a video uh, to help you grow your team and give you management tips uh, in your restaurant. And on Fridays, like a day like today, we answer your questions. And today, I'm answering Erica's question. And Erica asks, what have y'all done to drive more traffic to your online ordering? We are in a small community that may not be too tech savvy. After a year of all the efforts that she's done, she's uh, 4% of her sales are online. All right, Erica, I wanted to tell you that it is very difficult to change people's behavior. Know that it takes years. Uh, it's more about the convenience. People uh, will do what they know and what they find to be more convenient. So. That, that's the challenge we have. A lot of companies like, you know, bigger companies like Papa John's or those folks, uh, or Domino's, right? They have their online platform for their online ordering is professionally done. I don't know if you know, but like Domino's headquarters, one of their biggest department is their tech department. So they're more of a tech company, I don't know if you've heard that, than even a food company. So it, they're a tech company that they happen to deliver food. Um, so we're going against that. Know that a lot of times com uh, people have an easier time trusting in a bigger company like that than our online ordering platform, which isn't as fancy as theirs is. Uh, we have our online ordering through our POS system. Uh, we like it because I don't think we pay extra for it, and it also goes, it integrates with our POS system. It prints in the thing. We can track everything. So we like that. But again, is that the best platform? It is not. But we have been able to grow our online sales to 20% 20, 20 of our sales is online. So that is, that's, that's what we have been doing. So as you know, the reason we want people to order online are twofold. I mean, actually threefold. One, to reduce the mistakes. When the more people you have involved, the server has to take the food order or the customer come in and walk in or whatever, um, versus them themselves placing their own order if they do make a mistake, which they do. We've had multiple times. People put their phone numbers wrong. People put their address wrong. People put their order wrong all the time. It happens. Uh, at least we're like, hey, they did it. We didn't do it, right? Second reason is it is a well-known fact, and also we've done it ourselves, checking our average ticket. Average ticket for online orders is higher than phone orders or even in-person carryouts. And the reason is when someone's calling on the phone, they know exactly what they want and that's what they want versus when they're online, they're kind of more shopping, right? So there's a photo of a dessert. There's a photo of something. They're like, oh, I want that. I want that. They're hungry. And that is uh, bigger companies do this masterfully, like Papa John, whatever. They have upselling systems in place. Hey, would you like to increase the size of your pizza for $2 more or what have you? You know what I mean? So. They're pros at it, we're going against that. The third reason we want online ordering is because automatically we're capturing their information. Uh, on a phone order or whatever, we have the phone number. Uh, when they do order delivery, we get the address and the phone number. For online orders, we always get their phone number and their email address if it's online takeout. And if it's an online delivery, we get their phone number, their email address and their regular address, obviously name and phone number, but you get the most information from them and from your POS system, you should maximize that database and continue to market to those customers. But that's another conversation, I wanna get back into it. I have eight tips for you, all right? Before I get into that, I'm sorry, just one more thing, is that restaurant industry is a lot like farming. You, one seed, is not going to make you successful farmer. It's more about sowing seeds daily. So yes, I have eight tips for you, but I can't say this one's more effective than that. It's more about doing everything. I'm, I'm, that has been our experience. You do things, all of them diligently, every day, every day, every day, and in due time, you enjoy a harvest. You know, once you get momentum, when people know about it, it's just gonna get much easier. So for us, obviously, the bottom of the receipt, some of the things you may be doing, you may be like, can I make it more prominent? Can I change the uh, the verbiage a little bit? Can I make the text shorter and make this bigger? Or just some of these things you may already be doing. Think about how can you do them better. If you're not doing them, put them into practice. Number one is bottom of our receipt. I always have ditch the line, order online at www. Blah, blah, blah. 
on all of our social media posts. Uh, number two, our social media posts. Every post I post, it could be funny, it could be about this, it doesn't matter. I have one line that it says, uh, online ordering available at www.blah, blah, blah. Why am I doing that? It's because, again, I want to make it easy for our customers. If they're seeing that post at that moment, one out of whoever, how many, may be hungry and they crave pizza and I want to make it easy for them, then they click and go in there and get it. So every social media post, I have it in there passively hanging out. A hint that we have online ordering, people. It has to be prominent on your website. When someone comes to your website, they have to know. It is ours. It's a red button, big, on, like it's the first thing you see next to the logo. Order online now. I mean, like, it's very visible. So go to your website. How visible is that? So, you know what I mean? Prominent, make it easy for them. Other one is on our email marketing. So, you know, whenever we send emails, there may be like six to 7,000 people that we send an email to weekly, right? Those are part of our rewards program, not all of our customer database, right? The rewards program, they've given us permission to market to them. So whenever I send emails to them, I always have it at the bottom. It's a template I use, right? At the bottom, I have this red circle that says, order online now, blah, blah, blah. It's, uh, we have online ordering um, prominent. So again, not just for them to order, but I'm trying to get that awareness that we have online ordering. Uh, other is anything printed. We have on our uh, printed menus, any promotion print that we have, or flyers, I always have in there that we order online, uh, that our online ordering is available at dot, 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 blah, blah, blah. The other one is business cards. You know, our business cards, we have a stack of it over there. Um, we do also, on our business card, have a section where, like, text the word blah, 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 to the phone number, this, to receive a complimentary order of our Zeppelin donuts. Uh, our Zeppelin donuts are um, cheap to make. The food cost is really low, and I'm getting people to opt in into our texting database so we can send them a text message every single week, and we're giving that to them. Why is that relevant? Is that the idea of giving an incentive. You will, whatever you encourage more of, you will see more of. So think about, and I, this, uh, goes to the next point and that is having an incentive when Panera initially in our community at least they installed the kiosks they weren't as popular if, because again people are in the habit of standing in line so Panera started having people standing next to the uh, kiosks with um, uh, with a platter of cookies and say hey welcome to Panera you know would you like to place your order with the kiosk I'm able to assist you and also you get a free cookie well you know that's how I started and from now on I've never went back I always order through kiosk um, because I find it to be more comfortable I personally think it's much easier to order online you know exactly what you want you can know the prices you know I want to do this I want to do that you know what I mean so is there any way that you can offer an incentive to uh, get people to try your online ordering to remove that barrier because once they do it they're more likely to do it more and more so think about that how can you encourage them with an incentive last but not least in all of our boxes and of all, all of our pizza boxes and different stuff branded boxes we have we do not even mention our phone number because we want people to go to our website and for one I have a Facebook pixel there so we're getting their thing we can market to them on Facebook with the retargeting and um, but again we want to encourage people to go to our thing so online ordering is also we have on our all of our branded boxes so those are eight tips I have for you, Erica. I hope that helps. I'm sure you're already doing some of them. Then observe how can you do those things that you are already doing more effectively and the things you're not doing, how can you add to them? All right, I hope that these tips were helpful to you in increasing your online ordering, people. And thank you, Erica, for asking that question. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we will cover it in a future episode Q&A on Fridays here at Making Dough Show. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful in any way so we know that it was helpful. And subscribe to this channel so we can stay in touch. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week right here at Making Dough Show. Mm.